Ready for a new style? Call Double A Salon in Wheeler Springs Plaza, 775-764-1898. We have chronic hypertension. This is a woman who was given a diagnosis of hypertension even when she was not pregnant, or who was diagnosed with hypertension before the 20th week of pregnancy. That is chronic hypertension. Then we have gestational hypertension. As the word gestation, this is hypertension after 20 weeks of pregnancy. And this can now continue from gestational hypertension to become what we call preeclampsia. The CDC reports high blood pressure is seen in one in every 12 to 17 pregnancies among women ages 20 to 44 in the United States. Preeclampsia occurs in around 1 in 25 pregnancies. Dr. Goa says preeclampsia is the more severe type of hypertension in pregnancy and can potentially impact organ function and the placenta. To avoid complications, she stresses women must be screened for high blood pressure before, during, and after pregnancy. Dr. Goa explains those over the age of 40 have an increased risk of developing hypertensive disorders during pregnancy, as well as those with diabetes, immune system disorders like lupus, or women who went through in vitro fertilization. She notes black women are also at an increased risk. So how can a woman lower her risk for high blood pressure? Exercise, healthy diet, staying active, um, trying to be very intentional with your, your diet. I tell patients you're not, fa you're not fasting or starving, but you're taking more fruits and vegetables, drinking more water, taking your long walks, trying to reduce stress. Stress has been known to complicate a lot of um, maternal morbidity, especially in black women. 